Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to do a watercolor mountain scene. So let's do it! Okay, so we're going to be making um, a quick mountain scene. I'm going to show you how to do that. So I have my Arches watercolor paper, I have my palette that has my Winsor Newton watercolors, and I have my brush, which is a Princeton snap brush size 12. And I'm going to start off by first taping down my paper. Okay, so the reason why I taped it down is because our paper is going to get a bit wet and I don't want the paper to warp, but also I do it because I want a cute little white border around it when I take the tape off after painting. Okay, so we're going to be using um, a wet on dry technique. So in between doing the layers, you're going to need to let the paper dry. Now I'm going to use this heat gun so I can speed up the process. So if you have one of those, that'd be great. And if not, you're just gonna have to wait for it to dry. But yeah, so let's get started. So first, I'm gonna do a really, really, really light color in the background, and then I'm gonna let it dry. So I'm gonna do kind of like a, a navy scene-ish. So I'm just gonna take my paint, and this is a very, very light, background but once you peel off the tape you'll see the contrast between the white border and the light sky okay so it's a very very light wash there and I'm just gonna do the top now I'm just gonna take my heat gun and I'm going to dry it Now that that's dry, I'm gonna do my first layer of mountains. So I'm gonna do some gray mountains. Now, as the mountains go down, um, you're gonna want them to get darker and darker as they come into the foreground. So the ones in the background are gonna be light. So I'm gonna start off with a light wash of black, which will make it gray. And I'm just gonna do some mountains. Now because I dried the background, the mountains are not blending into the sky, which is what you want. You want that layer with this. Usually I love blending and color bleeds, but not for this. Okay. So that's your first layer of mountains, and now you're gonna dry that as well. Okay, so now I'm gonna do my second layer of mountains. I'm gonna kind of mix the black and the navy together to make a slightly darker shade. And I'm gonna do some other ones like this. Now there's no really shape I'm going off of like a picture or anything. I'm just kind of doing some jagged edges to create these. create some tree like just lines like they're trees in the back just really light lines oops too dark <laughs> Blend that in a little bit. Now you see I have these kind of like funky patterns here because it started to dry and then I add water on top so then you can kind of get these like interesting patterns which I kind of like actually so there's your second layer. I'm just going to make it a 
a little darker up here. And now we're gonna dry this. All right, now we're gonna do our next layer. So I do about four layers of mountains, I think. Um, I'm gonna do a bit more of a navy one and it's getting a bit darker, as you can see. So I'm gonna do some little lines again to make trees actually hold on. Let me just darken this up a bit. So really just kind of play around till you get what you like. Um, I'm gonna take my smaller brush now to make some trees because it was a little tricky with my bigger brush. So I'm just gonna gently Some darker bits in there. Like that. And now we're gonna dry this layer. Okay, and with the last layer we want to go pretty dark because it's the closest to us. I'm gonna kind of create like a little bit of a valley so it's gonna come down like this. Then we're gonna create some trees that are a bit bigger. So I'm gonna start off with lines. Again, I'm gonna use my smaller brush because it'll be a bit easier. going across.
So the lighter the trees are in the background, so you can do some light ones back here so that it looks like they're further away. And then the ones that would be closer up would be darker. You can do as many trees as you want. You don't even have to do trees. You could just do mountains if you wanted. So to get that light, those light trees, you just add a lot more water than paint. Not, you don't want a lot of water on your brush just because then it will run and might not look as good, but just dilute it on your palette, create more water, and then paint, and then you should have that really light color of the trees. So I'm just gonna, actually, hold on, a couple more right here. I'm gonna dry this and then do some darker trees in the front. Some of it's still wet, so it's actually blending, which you don't want. <laughs> but hey, it's all good. Hold on, I think I'll dry it a little more. like that and there you go so now the last and sometimes the most fun part is taking off the tape so you can see that border now you're gonna want to use painters tape so it doesn't rip off the paper which you can find at any art store I think I actually got this one at the dollar store and there you go there is your mountain scene thank you guys so much for watching my video I really hope you enjoyed it don't forget to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Have a great day guys. Bye.